Can we talk about it? I don't know what this man fixation is with Coretta Scott King, but it's getting a little bit too weird. It's getting a little bit too weird for me. I was going to leave the story alone, but now it's just getting too weird. First, you was comparing your ex to Coretta Scott King. We all heard the audio, and that's, that was super weird. You, I need you to be more like Coretta Scott King. That's probably the reason you got convicted, getting on them cameras, getting on them records, telling this woman that's not nothing to do with your nationality, that has nothing to do with Coretta Scott King, that probably don't even know who Coretta Scott King is. I need you to be more like Coretta Scott King. Do you think you are Dr. Martin Luther King? Do you think you are leading the civil rights movement, brother? Again, and now you comparing Megan Good, the Megan Good, one of the baddest to ever grace this earth, to Coretta Scott King? All right, imagine you, Megan Good, you in the house with him, and y'all smash, and he's like, Coretta, Coretta. You know what I mean? My name is Megan Good. All right. I don't know what your fixation is with women from 1946, 1947, and 1948, but they got to stop, bro. You killing all of these women, Coretta Scott King, all right? You was in that situation before, and you lost all your deals. You lost your movie roles because you was chasing a woman. You 6'4", chasing a woman through the streets of New York. It don't matter if she was chasing you. Whatever happened, when everybody heard that audio, I need you to be more like Coretta Scott King. We all looked at you like you was crazy. And now we saying that you got a fixation with women from 1946. What you going to call Megan Good next, Ernestine, Abigail, Gretchen? When was the last time you seen a woman named Gretchen? You know what I mean? Can we talk about it? I don't know what your fixation is with women half your age. Um, well, women from 1946 and all these old fashioned women and dressing like you still on that show on HBO where you was going back in time fighting the aliens. But, bro, it's time to get hip to 2024, bro, because you I don't know what you're doing because it's absolutely crazy because you calling the Megan Good Coretta Scott King. And when I first seen it, I was like, what's going on? Here? This is a little bit weird. But then it's like, now we see that you got a fixation. I was going to leave it alone because I love black love and I'm happy that you were a beautiful black queen. But she's not Coretta Scott King, bro, because that would mean you think you Dr. Martin Luther King and you're not leading no civil rights movements. I know you dress like you think you're in the civil rights movement. I know you dress like you just came out of 1940s Salvation Army and your pants legs go all the way to your ankles and you wear socks that go up to the ankles, too. You know what I mean? And you dress with the with suspenders and stuff like that. But listen, brother. Keep thinking that Megan Good is Coretta Scott King and all these women is your Coretta Scott King is the downfall, bro. Because you're not leading no type of civil rights movement. You are an actor. We need you to act. And I got the perfect way for you to get your roles back. Spike Lee featuring Jonathan Majors. Tyler Perry, Tubi. I got the black formula. Go see the black directors. And we're going to get you right back where you need to be, brother. Because calling these women Coretta Scott King is not it. Coretta, I need my biscuits buttered at 4.30 p.m. Where you at? <laughs> She's like, my name is Megan Good and I don't butter no damn biscuits. All right? Can we talk about it? I think this story is absolutely insane.